Snoozecast, the podcast designed to help you fall asleep. Find us on snoozecast.com and follow us on Instagram at snoozecast to find behind the scenes content. If you'd like to get an email once a week with upcoming sleep stories and other news, subscribe to the snooze letter at snoozecast.com. This episode is brought to you by Fruit Cups with Maraschino Cherries. Tonight, we'll read from For Luncheon and Supper Guests, written by Alice Bradley, published in 1923. Luncheon is the formal word for lunch, a light midday meal. In the Middle Ages, before electric lighting and industrialization, the midday meal was large and considered dinner. There was no lunch, so later in the evening, a lighter meal was had called supper. But by the 1800s, the large meal of dinner was pushed into the evening, and thus not only was supper squeezed out, but there was a need for something to eat in between breakfast and dinner. Up until the early 1800s, Luncheon was generally reserved for ladies who would often have lunch with one another when their husbands were out. The meal was often made up of leftovers from the previous night's plentiful dinner. Beginning in the Victorian era, afternoon tea supplemented this luncheon at four o'clock. Close your eyes. Relax your body into the softness of your bed. Now, take a few deep. Introduction Meals of many courses are neither practical nor popular with the modern hostess. For a company luncheon or supper, it is not necessary to serve more than a hot dish, a salad, a biscuit or sandwich, a dessert, and a beverage. A first course and a relish may be provided if desired. For a luncheon, it is a help to have some things done the day before. For picnics and parties, much must be done in advance. As an aid to the hostess, we have listed after each menu what these preliminary preparations may be. Sandwiches and Biscuits Sandwiches may be made and wrapped first in dry cheesecloth, then in damp cheesecloth, and placed in a covered crock some hours before a meal. The hot biscuits may be replaced by rolls or bread and butter, if desired. Automobile Picnics for picnics, the beverages and hot dishes may be prepared at home and carried in thermos food jars. The cold dishes may be packed in a small, portable refrigerator. The biscuits, sandwiches, cakes, and cookies should be carefully wrapped in wax paper and packed in boxes. Ice creams may be taken in the freezer. Hot sandwiches and bacon may be cooked over the coals or on a portable oil or alcohol stove. In some menus, it may be desirable to omit or modify a few of the dishes if food is to be carried several miles. Recipes and Menus The following recipes are planned to serve eight persons most of them may be divided for a smaller party. 
Menu 1. Fruit cup. Hot ham sandwich. Currant or grape jelly. Tomato salad with cheese dressing. Cocoa ice cream. Fig margarites. Tea with candied mint leaves. Preliminary preparations. Fruit cup ready to chill. Ham prepared for the sandwiches. Tomatoes peeled and placed in ice box. Salad dressing made. Fig margarites made. Candied mint leaves prepared. Ice cream ready to freeze. Jelly made. Fruit cup. Remove skin and seeds from a half pound of white grapes. If grapes are firm, boiling water may be poured over them and allowed to stand one minute when skins will come off easily. Pair two oranges, removing the white part with the skin, and remove sections free from membrane. Cut four slices canned pineapple in dice. Mix the fruit with a third cup sugar, one tablespoon lemon juice, a half cup orange juice, a half cup syrup from canned pineapple, and a few grains of salt. Put into ice cream freezer, surround with ice and salt, and stir occasionally until juice begins to freeze. Serve in cocktail glasses, garnishing each glass with a maraschino cherry. Hot Ham Sandwiches Put one pound cooked ham through a food chopper. Add four tablespoons creamed butter, one teaspoon mustard, and one teaspoon paprika, and mix well. Cut bread in 16 one quarter inch slices. Spread eight slices of bread with the ham mixture. Cover with remaining bread and press slices firmly together. Cut each sandwich in three strips. Beat two eggs slightly and add two cups of milk. Dip sandwiches one at a time in this mixture and saute in butter, cooking on one side until browned and then turning and browning the other side. Serve very hot. Other meat or marmalade or jam may be used in sandwiches in place of ham. Grape or currant jelly. Wash and pick over fruit. Crush in kettle one layer at a time and boil, stirring frequently until juice is extracted from pulp. Let drip through double piece of cheesecloth rinsed in cold water overnight or till juice no longer drips. Do not squeeze. Two one tablespoon juice, add one tablespoon alcohol, stir and let stand ten minutes. If two thirds of the mixture is cloudy, Use two-thirds of a cup sugar to each cup of juice. If all is cloudy, use equal parts sugar and juice. This is called the pectin test. Be sure that juice mixed with alcohol is discarded immediately. Measure remaining juice into kettle. Bring to boiling point. Add required amount of sugar and cook until mixture will show two distinct firm drops when dripped from side of spoon, or when small amount will become firm 
when dropped on very cold saucer. Then skim and pour into sterilized glasses. Second extraction. Return fruit pulp to kettle. Add barely enough cold water to cover it. Bring slowly to boiling point. Stirring to prevent burning on. Cook five minutes. Drain and finish as for first extraction. Boiling five minutes before adding the sugar. Third extraction. Proceed as for second extraction. Oftentimes, the juice from second and third extractions may be combined before being made up into jelly. By making three extractions, the amount of jelly obtainable from a given amount of fruit may be almost doubled. Cocoa Ice Cream Mix very thoroughly a half cup dry powdered cocoa, a few grains of salt, one cup of sugar, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Add slowly two cups of milk, scalded, and cook over boiling water 20 minutes, stirring until thickened, and occasionally afterward. Pour over two eggs well beaten, chill, and add two cups cream beaten stiff, one teaspoon vanilla, and one cup syrup drained from a can of raspberries or strawberries, and freeze. If frozen in a vacuum freezer, put mixture in center can of freezer, cover, invert freezer, and fill outer compartment with finely crushed ice mixed with half the amount of rock salt. Open the freezer occasionally. Scrape cream from sides and mix well using a long bladed knife. If frozen in an ordinary freezer, it is not necessary to beat the cream. Put mixture in can of ice cream freezer, surround with three parts ice and one part salt. Let mixture stand five minutes, then turn crank slowly until mixture is stiff. When frozen, drain off water, ice, and repack using four parts ice and one part salt. Fig Marguerites Put in top of double boiler, seven and an eighth cup of sugar and three tablespoons water. Stir until sugar is dissolved as much as possible. There will still be small sugar crystals remaining. Wash sugar crystals from inside of double boiler with pastry brush dipped in cold water. Add one egg white unbeaten. Place over hot water and cook, beating constantly with egg beater for 7 to 12 minutes or until mixture will hold its shape. Add one tablespoon marshmallow cream and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla and fold over and over until again stiff enough to hold its shape. Add a third cup of figs cut in small pieces and a third cup nut meats cut in small pieces. Pile on small round crackers and bake at 375 degrees for 10 minutes or until delicately brown. This rule will cover three dozen small crackers. Should frosting be too soft to hold its shape after adding marshmallow cream, 
it may be again placed over hot water and folded gently over and over until it becomes slightly granular around the edges. Remove from hot water and continue folding over gently until of the desired stiffness. Marshmallow Frosting Use above mixture with or without figs and nuts as a cake filling or frosting. It need not be baked. Candied Mint Leaves Wipe fresh mint leaves. Remove from stems and rub each leaf gently with the finger dipped in egg white, slightly beaten. Mix 3 tablespoons granulated sugar with 3 drops oil of spearmint and sift over each side of the mint leaves. Lay close together on a cake rack covered with wax paper and leave in a warm but not a hot place until crisp and dry. Serve in tea with sliced lemon and loaf sugar. Tea. Half fill a perforated teaspoon or tea ball with orange pico or other preferred tea. Place in cup. Add fresh boiling water until cup is two-thirds full. Remove teaspoon as soon as tea is of desired strength. Two or three cups of tea can usually be made without emptying and refilling the teaspoon. Menu 2 Grapefruit baskets with mints Open cheese and bacon sandwich Mixed sweet pickles Crab meat and tomato jelly salad Egg biscuits Orange layer cake Ice coffee with vanilla. Preliminary preparations. Grapefruit prepared and put on ice. Cheese grated or chopped for sandwiches. Bacon cut same length as bread slices. Pickles may be made at any time. Tomato jelly and mayonnaise dressing made. Eggs hard-cooked, celery or endive cut and put in cold water, crab meat picked over and put on ice, lettuce washed and put on ice in cheesecloth, cake baked and one layer frosted, cake filling made except the whipped cream, Dry ingredients and shortening for biscuits combined. Grapefruit baskets. Cut in two, four grapefruits. Insert two toothpicks opposite each other on each half. From one half inch on each side of toothpick, cut through the skin around the grapefruit, one fourth of an inch from the top of each half, leaving skin whole where toothpicks are inserted. Loosen pulp and remove and discard seeds, membrane, and toothpicks. Sprinkle pulp of each with one cream peppermint broken in pieces and chill. Bring the two strips of skin together above the grapefruit and tie together with narrow ribbon for the handle. Insert in the knot a sprig of flowers, berries, or mint and place on doily on individual serving plates. Mixed Sweet Pickles Put in small agate or enamel saucepan. 1 cup vinegar, half a cup of sugar, 
quarter teaspoon peppercorns, quarter teaspoon blades of mace, quarter teaspoon whole cloves, and cook two minutes. Add a half cup of candied cherries. Cook five minutes. Skim out. Add a half cup large raisins in clusters of two or three. Cook ten minutes. Remove raisins and add 18 small sweet cucumber pickles and cook ten minutes. Arrange in glass jar in closely packed layers, putting raisins in first, then cherries, then pickles. Repeat until jar is full. Strain hot syrup into jar and seal. Egg Biscuits Sift together 2 cups bread flour measured after sifting once 5 teaspoons baking powder 1 teaspoon salt and 1 tablespoon sugar Work in with fingers 2 tablespoons shortening Add 1 egg yolk slightly beaten mixed with 2 thirds of a cup of milk cutting it in with a knife. Toss on floured cloth or board and knead five minutes. Shape in any way suggested below. Bake 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Brush with milk or melted butter just before removing from the oven. Biscuit shapes. Make in small round balls and bake in muffin pans. Bake two round balls in each muffin pan, brushing between with melted butter. Bake three round balls in each muffin pan. Roll a quarter inch thick. Spread with butter. Roll up like a jelly roll. Cut in pieces one half inch thick and bake in muffin pans. Prepare as above, sprinkling with sugar and cinnamon before rolling. Or prepare as above, sprinkling with chopped nuts and maple sugar before rolling. Or roll a quarter inch thick, spread with butter, fold in three layers. Cut off strips one inch wide. Twist and coil. When baked, spread with confectioner's frosting. Or shape and roll in strips eight inches long and about as large around as a lead pencil and bake. Or roll half inch thick. Cut with small oval cutter. Brush with butter, double over, and place close together and bake. Orange Layer Cake Beat together until thick. Two egg yolks, a quarter teaspoon grated orange rind, four tablespoons of orange juice, and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. Add three quarters of a cup sugar gradually, continuing to beat with an egg beater. Fold in two egg whites beaten stiff and one cup of pastry flour sifted four times with a quarter teaspoon soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Grease an angel cake or deep round tin and line bottom with greased paper. Pour in cake mixture and bake 30 minutes 
at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Split. Put orange cream filling between layers and frost top with boiled orange frosting. Orange cream filling. Melt two tablespoons of butter. Add four tablespoons of cornstarch. And when mixed, add grated rind of one orange, one cup orange juice, and one cup of sugar. Bring to the boiling point, stirring all the time. Cook 15 minutes over boiling water. Add a half teaspoon of salt and one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Cool and fold in one cup of cream that has been beaten stiff. Boiled orange frosting. Put one cup of sugar and a quarter cup water in a small saucepan. Stir until sugar is dissolved and boiling point is reached. Do not stir after it boils. Wash down sides of saucepan with pastry brush dipped in cold water to prevent formation of crystals. Cook until syrup spins a four inch thread when dropped from spoon held at least eight inches above pan. Pour slowly onto two egg yolks beaten until thick and lemon colored. Beating constantly with an egg beater until mixture will hold its shape. Then add a few gratings of orange rind and a half tablespoon of orange juice and spread on cake. Two egg whites may be used instead of egg yolks if preferred. Iced coffee with vanilla. Add to six cups of cold boiled or percolated coffee, a half teaspoon of vanilla, one cup of cream, and sugar to taste. Serve in tall glasses with cracked ice. Menu number three. Tomato consomme with pearls, cream muffins, club sandwich with sweetbreads, pickled ripe cucumber rings, apricots with cream and nut brittle, ginger puffs, spiced tea, Preliminary preparations. Pickled ripe cucumber rings prepared in the fall or purchased in bottles or other sweet pickle or olives. Consomme ready to reheat. Sweetbreads cooked. Cucumber sliced into ice water and lettuce washed. Dry ingredients for cream muffins mixed. Apricots cooked in syrup and nut brittle made. Ginger puffs made and frosted. If tea is to be served iced, it may be prepared. Tomato consomme with pearls. Soak half cup pearl tapioca overnight in one quart cold water. Cook in same water until tender and clear. Drain liquor from one quart of a can of tomatoes. Add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon paprika, one pint chicken stock, or two chicken bouillon cubes dissolved in one pint of water. 
Wash two eggs. Slightly beat the whites and add whites and shells to the soup. Stir until soup boils. Boil two minutes. Remove from heat and let stand 20 minutes. Strain through double cheesecloth. Add tapioca drained from water and rinsed. Reheat and serve in bouillon cups. A bit of red coloring may be added to intensify the color. Cream Muffins Sift together two cups of pastry flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. With fingers, rub in a quarter cup of butter or margarine. Add two eggs well beaten and seven-eighths of a cup of thin cream. Mix thoroughly. Pour into greased muffin pans or small fancy-shaped tins and bake 12 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and 5 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix 16 small muffins. Club sandwich with sweetbreads. When brought from market, soak one pair of sweetbreads one hour in water with one tablespoon of vinegar. Parboil 20 minutes in one cup of milk. Cool in water, drain, and cut in slices. On serving plate for each person, place one slice of toast spread to the edges with butter worked until creamy. Cut in two diagonally and cover with one or two washed and dried lettuce leaves and with mayonnaise dressing. On lettuce, Place a layer of sweetbread slices, cover with slices of cucumber, and with two slices of bacon cooked until crisp. Cover with one slice of buttered toast, cut in two diagonally. Place a small lettuce leaf on the toast and fill with mayonnaise dressing. Sprinkle with paprika. Place on side of plate sweet pickled cucumber rings or olives, plain or stuffed. Pickled ripe cucumber rings. Pair rind from two quarts of ripe cucumbers. Cut in slices crosswise and then stamp out centers, making rings. Cover with cold water, add one teaspoon soda, and let stand overnight. Next morning, drain, cover with cold water in which two tablespoons alum have been dissolved, and boil ten minutes. Strain, cover again with cold water, add one tablespoon of ginger, and boil 15 minutes. Drain, measure water, and discard. Measure out as much vinegar as there was water, and to each quart of vinegar, add three pounds granulated sugar, a quarter cup whole cloves, and a quarter cup stick cinnamon. Add fruit, and boil until clear. Watermelon rind, cut in strips, may be used instead of cucumber. Apricots with cream and nut brittle. Drain one can of apricots. Cook syrup 10 minutes. Add fruit and cook 3 to 5 minutes or until tender. Cool and pour into serving dish. 
Sprinkle with one half the nut brittle. Beat a half cup cream until stiff. Add slowly into it a quarter cup sugar, half teaspoon of vanilla, a few grains of salt, and half of the remaining brittle. Pile cream on the apricots. Sprinkle with remaining brittle and serve as cold as possible. Other canned fruit or orange sections may be used instead of apricots. Nut brittle. Put a half cup of sugar and a half cup of water in saucepan and boil quickly until syrup is a golden brown. Remove from fire, add two thirds of a cup of chopped nut meats and turn into lightly greased pan. Cool and pound until broken into very small pieces. Ginger puffs. Beat one egg until light and add a half cup of sugar, half cup of molasses and a quarter cup of shortening melted in a half cup of warm water. Add two cups of pastry flour, sifted with one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon ginger, one teaspoon soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Combine mixtures and bake in small, greased tins for 12 to 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Frost if desired with cheese frosting. With wooden spoon work one cream cheese until creamy and add gradually one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar. Beat a half egg white until stiff and gradually beat in the cheese mixture. This frosting may be put on cookies or cake by forcing through a pastry bag and fine tube or paper cone making lines or other decorations. It may be colored if desired. Spice tea syrup. Put in small saucepan, one cup of water and a half cup of sugar. Heat to boiling point, And when sugar is dissolved, add one tablespoon whole cloves, crushed and a two-inch piece stick of cinnamon, broken in pieces, tied together very loosely in a piece of cheesecloth. Boil gently to 215 degrees Fahrenheit or to a thin syrup. When cool, add the juice of two lemons. Serve in a small bowl using one tablespoon of syrup in each cup of tea. Menu four, rose apples and surprise. Mock lobster a la Newburgh. Bacon salad or potato and egg salad. Cornmeal rolls, orange mousse. Sour cream drop cookies. South American chocolate. Preliminary preparations. Cookies made. Lettuce washed and put on ice. Dry ingredients and shortening for rolls mixed. Tins greased. Filling mixed for rose apples and rose apples chilled. Newberg dressing made. All but bacon fat. South American chocolate prepared. Moose made and packed four to six hours in advance. Dry ingredients measured for Newberg. Fish cooked and flaked. 
Rose, Apples, and Surprise. Hard cook two eggs. Reserve a half yolk. Chop remainder fine and mix with two tablespoons green pepper. Chopped. Two tablespoons pimiento. Chopped. Four anchovies. Chopped. A half teaspoon of salt, a few grains of pepper, and a few drops of onion juice. Moisten with mayonnaise dressing. Fill eight rose apples or small tomatoes from which centers have been removed. Cover with mayonnaise and garnish with strips of anchovy, laid crosswise. Serve each rose apple or tomato on a small plate sprinkled with chopped parsley, mixed with reserved egg yolk, rubbed through a strainer. Cornmeal rolls. Sift together one and a half cups bread flour, a quarter teaspoon of soda, three quarters of a cup of cornmeal, three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of sugar. Cut in two tablespoons shortening with a case knife. Beat one egg, add a half cup sour milk, and combine mixtures. Roll a half inch thick. Cut with oval cutter. Brush with melted butter. Double over and placed on greased baking sheet. Bake 12 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Orange Mousse Put in saucepan 3 quarters of a cup of sugar. Add the grated rind of one orange and a half cup cold water. Stir and boil one minute. Soak one teaspoon gelatin in two tablespoons of cold water and dissolve in the hot syrup. Add two-thirds of a cup orange juice and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Place on ice and when it begins to thicken, Fold in one and a half cups cream beaten stiff, a quarter cup of pistachio nuts shredded, and a quarter cup candied cherries cut in pieces. Fill ring mold or baking powder boxes with mixture. Cover with greased paper and tin covers. Surround with two parts ice, mixed with one part salt, and let stand three hours. Unmold and serve, cut in slices. Molds may be decorated with pistachio nuts and candied cherries before filling with mixture. Cream one quarter butter or margarine. Add gradually half cup sugar and one egg. Well beaten.